Triple kill. The crazy Spartan. You suck. What's up guys, Craze back again today doing a little gameplay here for you and this is of course Halo 4 and this is a 360 version of Halo 4. This is not the Mass Chief Collection and yes you are able to still go on there and still play Halo 4 if you so desire. It does have activity, not a lot, but if there is still players online and you still can get on there and do some of that uh, crazy Halo 4 action with the infinity settings. Ugh. The infinity settings. Oh man. Well, if you remember those, that was actually so frustrating. And I, I, I've complained about that before in, my, in the past. Just, uh, you get into a match and you're doing uh, okay, but the other team is just doing a lot better. And then all of a sudden, the other team starts getting uh, over shields and rockets and uh, what else? Just fuel rod guns and. And they just start getting all these crazy weapons, and then the, the score just splits. I, I don't know what 343 was thinking with um, Infinity settings and the drop mods and stuff like that. Or the, the, the drops. <laughs> I know they were trying to copy Call of Duty, and that's why I'm saying, and I, I've been saying this for a while, uh, 343 needs to stop chasing trends. Hands down, stop chasing trends. At the time, Call of Duty was the biggest thing, and now it's not. Call of Duty is definitely not the biggest thing anymore. Um, which is sad, because I, I did like Call of Duty. Black Ops, uh, I did like Black Ops. Um, but that was its own game back then. Uh, not so much anymore. Call of Duty's chasing trends. Uh, they're chasing the Battle Royale trend. And I just think that's just a huge mistake. Uh, they, they gave up a perfectly good opportunity to tell a great story and they'd rather chase a battle royale trend and I don't know why I, I really don't know why they would do that they had such a good game they could have been innovative in different ways but nope they chose to do that but that's just one example and then Halo 5 they can't <laughs> 3 for 3 chased the trend of advanced movement and even though I like Halo 5 don't get me wrong I do but I was just sick and tired of advanced movement uh, Call of Duty did it as well they were chasing that with uh, Titanfall uh, and they kind of got rid of it kind of not not all the way but they they did kind of go back to its roots especially in World War II uh, which I, I never played it, never played it, so I can't give you a good opinion, but Actman has, and I think he pretty much goes along the lines that it just was not a good idea. Um, I did not watch that video. Uh, if you want to check out Actman, uh, Actman World War II, he probably does a very, very good uh, analysis. He, he usually does. He does. He does a quite, a bit, quite a good analysis on a lot of games and really in-depth really showcasing the pros and cons of each and every single game and that's awesome that is absolutely awesome that he does that uh it's a lot of work i know that it is a lot of work to do what he does um but anyways that's my theory on that is that i'm just so tired of these big game companies chasing the hottest trend and that's why i really am an advocate for not putting in battle royale mode in Halo, Halo Infinite, I really am a huge advocate for that uh, because it's another one of those trends and if it's not done exactly right, it's just not going to work. And based on the history of 343 chasing trends, it's just probably not a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, I took one sniper round to the back, tried to hide, and then just grabbed another sniper round. That ain't even right. That ain't even right. What's up with that? Uh, here we go. Here's my ordnance drop. I ah, get a saw. What, what can go wrong with the saw? But that's what I'm saying, man. That's why I did not like the, the ordnance drops in, in Halo 5. I'm sorry, Halo 4. Uh, though I wouldn't mind. 
to be honest, instead of that wreck system in Halo 5 for Warzone, and Warzone, I'm not a fan of Warzone either, by the way. I, I, I don't mind Firefight, but that, that Ordnance system possibly in a Firefight type of mode, that might be more interesting. That might be actually a little bit more fun to play. Uh, you kind of get random things, or you can get uh, wreck stuff. I, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of throwing that out there, just thinking right here on spot about that. That ordinate system in a firefight type of game mode, a cooperative game mode, might actually be kind of fun. Uh, I think that might be interesting to see. Uh, I don't think we'll ever see it by any means. I think they really kind of stepping away from the Halo 4 ordnance system, which is probably a good thing overall. But it's kind of a nice thought, kind of an interesting thought. What do you guys think? Ordnance system in a firefight game mode. I might be down with that. I might. I think that might be actually pretty cool. As for what is the uh, the war zone though? No, no. I, I just I kind of want I want the the general multiplayer and of course the campaign, but I want a co-op mode. That's the biggest thing. I want a real co-op mode, and that's why I liked Firefight so much because it was you and a couple friends of yours, and you sit there and you try to try to finish the, the survival mode in ODST, ODST, mind you. And, and you fight to survive as long as you possibly can until all your lives are lost. And I tell you, if you haven't done it, it is absolutely epic. Epic to be the last guy standing and you're taking on a hunter or whatever else and you're fighting and you're fighting and you're fighting and your teammates are cheering you on and it's kind of crazy. And you get that kill and you bring everybody back. Man, that is just awesome. That is an incredible feeling that only ODST has had uh, at this point. I'm telling you, ODST Firefight was the best Firefight version. Absolutely, hands down. Halo Reach was okay, but it was definitely more arcadey. I didn't, um, wasn't super fantastic or thrilled with it. Um, I just, I just didn't care for it as much. I, I played it more solo. Uh, as you guys probably have heard by now is that I did like playing solo mode uh, a lot more or with like actual friends not online multiplayer matchmaking because then I could set it up and do it how we wanted to do it and set the game modes that I enjoyed that I enjoyed but the actual matchmaking in uh, Firefight in Halo Reach was not all that good it just wasn't uh, as for uh, Halo 5's Firefight, uh, again, with all the wreck system and everything else, it's it, to me it's just not that fun either. They have to, in order to make it a challenge, they make the boss fights really, really high health. Otherwise, you just, just slaughter everything. And yeah, you can do those legendary, uh, what, is, what is the legendary or mythic, mythic game mode when that comes up? It is difficult. It is difficult. You actually have to have some players that are really halfway decent or better, <laughs> which isn't me. I tend to rush. I tend to rush in where I probably shouldn't. So I die a lot. But I, honestly, that's what I would really like to see for Halo Infinite is you got your campaign, which I hope is going to be very, very good. Uh, of course, they have a lot of fixing to do with Halo 5's campaign. Uh, to continue that, uh, I'm hoping for a very, very good, solid, classic-style multiplayer. I'm not going to hold my breath on it, but I'm kind of hoping for that. And, of course, I want a cooperative game mode. Something that we actually have to work together uh, and to try to compete or do the best we can just for score, just for points. Uh, that I would also love to see. But at this time, I don't know. I mean, we have very, very little knowledge. Just a small, itty-bitty trailer that revealed pretty much next to nothing. But anyways, those are my thoughts, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Crazed. I'm out of here.